and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some fancy push sticks to replace my original one, which was the first thing I ever cut on the bandsaw. To do this I've got some sapili, some walnut with a knot in it, a bit of either mahogany or something which I've got tons of these drawer fronts, and I've also got a little scrap of oak which may be too small, as well as a dowel, and we'll use some other bits and bobs to create these push sticks. I think this is going to be a really awesome project, something a little bit out there, something a little bit over the top, doesn't really need to be as fancy, but I think it'd be a good learning experience, practice my skills in the bandsaw, and also have a bit of fun and experiment with design and aesthetics of things. So let's get going. So I've gone ahead and looked online for some templates of bandsaw push sticks. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. These are the kind of ones you can buy anywhere, Axminster, whatever. And these ones are always available. So I'm going to have a go at replicating something like that. Then I've got this one, which is a fairly common design that you see a lot. And then this one, which you also see a lot. So what I want to do is take these three, have a go at cutting them out and creating them. And then I want to enhance them and do some more interesting things with them. The first step to this project was to cut out the templates. And as boring as this is, it does have to be done. As I said, I just printed off some templates from the internet. But you could, of course, design your own custom shapes and sizes to better fit your hands or your style of how you use the bandsaw. Okay, so we've got the templates drawn onto the board, so this is just a scrap of pine I had lying around, and as you can see, I've cut out, or drawn, ready to cut out, the template. I've done the same on this scrap of walnut that I had, so this is the Axminster style push stick, and then we've got this one, which is a common push stick, drawn onto this piece of mahogany, or whatever it is. I've got about 40 or so of these boards, so I've got plenty to use. I then positioned the pieces of wood onto the bandsaw and started cutting them. I started with the pine one first, as this had the most cutting to do, and I thought I'd get rid of all the offcuts of that one first. Then I moved on to the walnut one, and I just took my time with these, as there are quite a few small curves, and some bits where you've just really got to take your time if you want a neat cut. But it's not a particularly complicated cut at all, and it's just really a nice way to be able to practice your skills on the bandsaw. So I've got all of the pieces cut here. So we're now going to move over to the AC125 belt and disc sander. We're going to sand up the edges, um, just basically around these bits. On the corners, I've got the Henry Hoover attached. Then we'll move on to the sander, and then we'll sand the whole of the tops of these, the edges, get them nice and smooth, then we can start drilling the holes. I then moved over to my belt and disc sander. Now I'm using the Axminster 125 belt and disc sander, and I have a review and sort of like an in-depth guide to this sander on my channel if you're interested in checking that out. I'll leave a link below to that video. So I just cleaned up all the faces of this project on the sander just to give it a nice smooth finish and make it comfortable to hold. As it's really important the push sticks feel comfortable in your hand as you're going to be using them quite a lot on the bandsaw. So with the push sticks cut out and sanded on the edges around here, we're now going to move on to using the random orbit sander, go over the whole thing, round over all these edges and then we can start drilling in the dowels onto the walnut one, and perhaps this mahogany one. I then moved over to my Abawa random orbit sander to clean up the faces of these push sticks. Now again, I really like using this sander, it barely produces any dust, and that's because I've got it hooked up to my Henry Hoover. Now again, if you're interested in seeing a bit of an unboxing of this sander, I do have a video on my channel of that. Again, I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. I then used a normal sheet of sandpaper just to round over some of the edges where the sander couldn't quite get, as there were some quite tight curves to this, so the easiest way to get round that was just to use a piece of sandpaper in my hand and just hand sand the gaps. So I've sanded up the push sticks, as you can see they feel super super smooth, really nice to hold and I think they're going to be great to use. I really like the pine one and I actually quite like the knot, adds a bit of a feature, quite comfortable to use. This one I think is awesome, the mahogany one really like that one and then we've got the walnut one which i've just dropped the dowels off um i'm going to be putting dowels into this just to get a bit of an accent something a little bit different something a bit more fun so i've got these small furniture dowel sort of things i've got loads of them anytime you get rid of something i always keep them they're really useful to use um so we're going to inlay some of those into here just simple drill hole inlay them in and then the last step we've got to do is drill a hole to hang each of them I'll probably go something like a 7, 8 or 9 mil, maybe a 10 mil drill bit, something like that, so I can hang them up on a screw. After that, it'll be a quick sand over again, just like one minute on each one, oil them up and test them. So I've marked out some rough locations for these dowels. This really doesn't need to be precise. 
And now all I'm going to do is simply drill them through. I've got an 8mm drill bit here, the dowels are about 8.2, 8.3mm, so they're pretty perfect. We'll drill these, put some glue in and then get going with the next stage. Using the pencil marks, I then drilled out the holes. I just did this by hand, but you could of course use a pillar drill. I then put a bit of glue in the drill hole and added some dowels. I then coated them all in a coat of cellulose sanding sealer. I'm not going to put a wax or an oil on this as the cellulose sanding sealer was plenty and to be honest it doesn't really need a finish anyway, it's just a tool that's going to get used but I felt it would really bring out the grain and look quite nice if I did so. I then used a coping saw to cut the dowels flush and then again I used my random orbit sander just to clean up the glue marks and to flatten the dowels to the face of the push stick. Now as I've said already, this project is, to be honest, completely unnecessary. All you need for a push stick really is a piece of wood with a cut out of it. But I wanted to go a bit over the top with this project and just have a bit of fun with some off cuts of wood that I had lying around. There's absolutely no need to do this and put dowels in it because it's only going to get chewed up by the bandsaw blade over time. But as I said, I just wanted to have a bit of fun and experiment with what I could do. And again, I did the same thing for the last two push sticks. Drilled the dowels, glued them in, sanded them, and then applied a coat of cellulose sanding sealer. The last step was to add a hole into the base of the push stick, and this is so I can hang it up, put it on the wall, or the bandsaw. And then again, I put a bit more cellulose sanding sealer on, and that was the whole project finished. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you've enjoyed it.